Hello and welcome to this video on applying for indefinite leave to remain via 10 years residence in the UK. Presented by Weskin Associates, your trusted immigration experts. This video is relevant for anyone who is confused about the application process and if they need a lawyer. So let's begin. The long residence rule allows someone that has spent a continuous period of 10 years in the UK on any visa type, except for those that are visit or seasonal worker visas, to apply for settlement. This is known as indefinite leave to remain and is a permanent residence. The process typically takes around three months to be decided, but we can also help you obtain a priority service which gets your decision within 24 hours. As this application is related to your private life in the UK, you will have the right to appeal if your application is refused whilst your visa has now expired. If your visa has not yet expired when the decision is made, you can simply reapply. The requirements for a successful application can be seen on screen now. They include having spent 10 years in the UK legally, currently having a valid visa, and having passed the English requirement and life in the UK test. Most critically, however, is the continuous residence test, which we'll explore in the next slides. So what is the continuous residence test? Well, this can be split into two parts. Firstly, no single absences of more than six months, and secondly, no total absences of more than 18 months, which is about 548 days in total over the full 10 year period. There are many common scenarios as to why someone may have breached or be close to breaching their continuous residence. For the total absences, it may be due to having returned home during summer breaks, during school or university years. It may be because of travel was enforced by work or simply just lack of awareness of the rules. For the six months rule, the absences may have been breached because of medical treatment, family bereavement, or more recently due to the COVID travel restrictions. So how do we deal with the situation where continuous residence may have been breached? Firstly, it's important to have an accurate overview of your absences and have them calculated correctly. A lot of migrants are unaware that only a full 24 hour absence counts so this could greatly reduce your total absences. Secondly, we look at mitigating circumstances, such as travel restrictions, ill health, or other factors that stop you from returning to the UK on time. And finally, we look at human rights factors related to your life in the UK. Things such as your family connection to the UK, the difficulties which you would face if you had to return to your home country, and what options you have, if any, to extend your visa. Having made this assessment, we'll argue your case in a detailed legal representation letter to the Home Office or in an oral argument in the Immigration Tribunal. This is where you'll need a skilled and diligent lawyer to help you build a strong case. Because having spent 10 years in the UK, you owe it to yourself to give yourself the best possible chance of achieving settlement. ILARA applications are so important because they don't only change your life, but they have the potential to impact the life of current family and generations ahead of you by giving them that automatic right to settlement or British nationality in the future. So let's have a look at the cost. Please note that these fees are correct at the time of recording, but may have changed by the time you're watching this video. So please check with us. In regards to our legal fees, we work with a fixed fee model. So there's no surprises and you know exactly how much it'll cost you after you speak to us. The fee depends on the complexity of your case, and in some cases, we can even offer you a no win, no fee guarantee. Our payments are broken down into two installments as you progress through the process with us, typically 50% to start and the balance once we submit your application. So how can we help you? Well, having got to this stage, the ILR application you're about to make is the most important application you've ever made. So it's crucial you get things right. If you've never used a lawyer until now, this would be the right time to do so. Apart from all the things you can expect from your lawyer, like filling your form and submitting your application, here are some of the highlights. Number one, assisting you in obtaining a copy of your home office file. Number two, helping you calculate your absences. Number three, issuing you with a detailed legal representation letter, arguing your case. And finally, lobbying for discretion to the home office or immigration tribunal where required. Further information can be seen on screen now. So why wait any longer? Contact us today to have a free assessment call with our settlement team. They will let you know if you qualify and give you a fee quote. 
We can then book in for a free online meeting with the lawyer handling your case. You can ask any questions that you might have and we'll help you understand the process in more detail. Within 24 hours of this meeting, the lawyer will send you a client care letter with all the advice and fees outlined. And once you're ready to start, you can make the initial payment or we'll start work immediately. So don't wait any longer. Contact Weskin Associates today and start your journey for that all important indefinite leave to remain.